Hello, uh, Miss Johnson. Um, my name is Kyle Wilkes, and today I will be giving you my aha presentation for my uh, achieving college success class, and thank you for taking your time to listen to it. So, what is my aha presentation? It's going to be talking about all the last two months about what I've learned and definitely other kids around and what they have learned about how to be successful in college and what different tactics they can go about and how to help them to be successful in college. So, what are we going to talk about in my presentation? It's going to be talking about developing mutual supportive relationships, accept personal responsibilities, gaining self-awareness, self-motivation, and last but not least, a personal note to you, Ms. Johnson, thinking. So, developing mutual support and relationships, talking about being able to develop such a good relationship with your instructors, especially having that good relationship that you feel so comfortable that you can go to them about anything it depends on. Most importantly, school or if you're having troubles at home that they can go about and be supportive and how they can interact with you. Another thing is um, industry professionals. Um, what I want to do being an aircraft mechanic, being able to build great um, relationships with the teacher who has a great mindset throughout the industry or even someone that works for a bigger company like um, my uncle who um, used to be an aircraft mechanic license, being able to stick and build a bond with those people that can help me be more successful in life. And last, fellow classmates, being able to have someone that might be better at math with this, um, as this uh, classmate, or even this person who's better at working with tools. Just being able to have those classmates that you can be with that might be better in some other areas than some other people will, and that you can turn to and get support from. Next, accept personal responsibilities. So talking about how um, it's up to me to be successful, not others. I can still lean on other people to help me, but I shouldn't put all my weight on them to be successful for me. Um, also not my instructor's responsibility. If I mess up, I gotta take full responsibility about that instead of trying to blame it on them that they're a terrible teacher or anything like that. It's take room responsibility, excuse me. Um, realizing that my success is my responsibility, not others that I can't be blaming my father that I'm not doing good in college because it's his fault and he's the one that sent me here. Just taking responsibility to keep me on uh, achieving and being successful in life and even in college. Um, and stop blaming other people for your failures. Just because you failed a test can you stand up, don't blame your teacher for giving you a test on that day. Um, Self-awareness, uh, recognizing early on when you're off course and you need help. Don't be the guy that you know sits back in class, doesn't understand a thing. I personally have done it in my past a lot, and then trying to make up for it halfway or almost at the end of the year that it's too late. You can't do nothing about it. Um, or uh, finding different ways to be successful. So that might be the way I learn. Sometimes I have to use other things to help me learn with memorizing with either baseball or even planes or just depending on what works for me or working for others also depends on how they learn or different ways to study like I said you know putting a problem with a baseball problem mixing together or even talking about it in a different way or the day of with how I learn can definitely be different self-motivation um, sometimes classes may not seem like I will enjoy them and I will not lie definitely math has never been a fan favorite of mine, never really thought I'd get it, but at the same time, it's a part, you have to do it, might as well like it. Definitely, well, growing up, give me more effort and being more interactive in those classes, I began to like them more. Um, find different ways to engage yourself, even if that's group projects or hanging out with friends that understand that and making it more fun instead of it just being boring, normal stuff. Um, establish a goal. Find ways to strive, you know, say I want to have an A in this class and being able to have that is a good goal and having goals in anything is a good way to focus and strive to be the best at what you want to do. And then graduating college, 
and then getting my A&P is a big goal of mine, and especially because not a lot of people in my family have graduated my college, being one of those people that are up there on them would be a huge success to me, and then especially getting my A&P license, starting the real world and being on throughout with that, and be done with college. So last thing is my um, thank you to you, Ms. Johnson. Thank you for what you've taught me, learning how to be myself and go out there and stop being um, a little shy and being able to interact with other people, my instructors, which is something I've never really done before, or even just knowing how to be successful in college, especially because it's my first year in college. It's not like I'll be there like in high school, but being able to have that awareness that you've taught me and especially a lot of other students that are definitely grateful for what you've done. And this is definitely a class that I have took a lot from, from me to be able to apply into the real world. And I'd like to thank you so much for what you have done for teaching this class. Thank you again, and I hope you have a good rest of your day. Thank you.